So I thought I'd give you a 45 minute summary of what I got out of the afternoon. I, it's very funny, the closing remarks have like three minutes in very large letters at the top, but I will say three things, because I always talk in threes. We started out with Nate Fix saying cybersecurity has failed. I mean, that was his, his starting point was the cybersecurity community has failed and he just basically went through the number of attacks that are happening that we don't deter, that we don't stop. Um, and I'm not sure you really can say that because my reaction after today is that's like saying law and order has failed. I mean, cybersecurity after the end of today is pretty much everything. It's, we heard, it's the economy. Uh, it is, the, it is but most companies becoming tech up companies. This will be part of the risks they manage. It is, it is a huge part of the economy. It's uh, education. We heard about digital literacy uh, from absolutely the beginning. That's gonna be part, just like learning any language or learning basic social norms, you're gonna be learning uh, social, you're gonna be uh, learning digital literacy. It's huge numbers of jobs. Uh, we heard uh, Governor McAuliffe say 36,000 in Virginia alone right now. So, you know, multiply that across the states and just see how much that's gonna grow. Uh, so it's effectively, if it's our education, if it's our jobs, uh, if, it's the, if it's really at the core of our economy, I don't know what it means to say uh, that it has failed, but, I want to offer one very concrete solution as to how to make cybersecurity the world's most attractive career. Now, we heard cybersecurity needs to knock off its dark arts thing. I think we got to go a different way. As a dedicated Harry Potter fan, <laughs> I propose from now on we just talk about aurors. Who wouldn't want to be an auror? This, that's what I think cyber warriors are going to be about. We're aurors. We will. We heard it here first. But if I were talking to any kids I knew, particularly girls, but across the board, I'd say you too, just like Emma Watson, can be an auror. Okay, so let me thank our fabulous sponsors, uh, the William and Flora Hewlett Foundation, uh, whom I thank this morning because they launched uh, the Cybersecurity Initiative. Without them, uh, we would not be here. But our many other terrific sponsors, and you, you heard from various people all, all day that showed their depth of talent, uh, Microsoft, Northrop Grumman, Raytheon, Endgame, Facebook, uh, Google, and Deloitte. So thanks to all of you. We could not do this without you. Please, round of applause. And then I basically walk around today getting congratulated for things uh, that I may have presided over, but other people did. And I heard time and again how fantastic the events team is. Uh, and so I want to call them out. Um, they've been working incredibly hard, and tomorrow they've got to do it all again for Future of War. Uh, but Veronica Mooney, the, uh, the presider in chief, uh, and her team, uh, yes. She can get so now hold your applause as I go through the team. Ellen Alpa, Ayana Hunter, Clara Allen, Amanda Cools, who just started, and I hope she's going to still be with us by the end of this week. Uh, John Williams uh, for our, our uh, production team, Simone McPhail, Morgan Alamo, jo Joanne Zalatoris, Maria Elkin, Laura Pratt, Breck Wills, Dana Jew, and Jessica Guiley. So please, these people did extraordinary work. And then the folks who actually work uh, on the cybersecurity initiative, who've been planning this for almost a year, obviously Ian Wallace and Ross Shulman and their teams, Emma Fagawu, did I say it right? I did, Emma Fagawu, uh, Rob Morgus, uh, Jiang Jung, and Andy Wilson. Uh, so thanks to all of them. And uh, there's just one person I've left out. This conference would not have happened, and I can tell you because I know who nagged me. That's very critical. This conference would not have happened without the absolutely fantastic Laura Bate. So thank you. And now the words you've been waiting for. We welcome you to join us for our reception. Thank you. <laughs>